Hi, this is Steven from Data Video, and today I want to show you how to connect to a PTC140 camera via static IP address on a Mac, change it to DHCP if necessary, and also update the camera. Let's get started. Uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to go to our network preferences. And once we're in there, we're going to go to USB. You'll see that I have a USB hub connected. We're going to select, instead of dynamic, we're going to select manual. So we'll go ahead and click that drop down. We're going to enter 192.168.5.160 just so it's in the same range. The camera's IP will be 192.168.5.163. And we'll leave subnet and we'll go ahead and apply it. Close this out. Now we're going to go into our browser. We're going to type in the camera's IP address, which is 192.168.5.163. We're going to be brought to the login page for the camera. We'll go ahead and enter admin admin. And you'll see that we have Flash Player currently because it's an older firmware revision, but we're going to show you how to go ahead and update that. Flash Player is ending support at the end of 2020, so that's why we have a new firmware update available. So in configuration, we're going to go to Update. You'll see the version that we currently have in the camera. We're going to go ahead and open up a new tab and go to datavideo.com. In the search bar, we are going to type in PTC140, and you'll see that the NDI model will be there. So we're going to go ahead and do that because that's the model we're updating today. The procedure will be the same with all DataVideo 140 cameras. So we'll click on Downloads, I'm speeding this up a little bit. Uh, go ahead and selecting that we're going to open it it'll auto unzip on a mac go ahead and save that file and usually it puts it in your downloads folder we'll find it right here we're going to drag it over to our desktop minimize that and then now we're see that we have the 140 ndi folder open that up you'll see the two files for updating and we also have release notes and instructions just in case but that's why we have this video we're going to change it to a list view so we can see the two files and we'll start with the larger uh, text file the one that has the AF on the top so we're going to go back to the cameras interface click on uh, that area we're going to go ahead and go to browse and we'll open up that folder. We'll change it to a list view so that we can see it a little bit better. And we'll start with that middle file there. And we're gonna go ahead and open it. We'll wait a few seconds just to make sure it did load into the camera and then we're gonna select upgrade. We've sped this up just for the video. Normally it takes about maybe 30 seconds, 40 seconds. We'll confirm it. And then we're going to proceed to log out. We'll close out that tab. We'll wait about maybe a minute. And then what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and open up a new tab. Log back in. The same IP address that's the static that's standard with the 140 camera. So as this loads, we've accelerated it a little bit more so that we can see. If it does not load the page, you might have tried to log in a little bit too soon. Um, so sometimes refreshing the page will do it. So here we go. 
Go ahead and log in again with admin admin. We won't save it at this point. You can see that we do have a preview through HTML5. Go to configuration again. We're going to go to update. And we're going to browse for that second file. Go ahead and select it and we'll open it. Give it a second for it to load and then we'll go ahead and press upgrade. And we've sped this up a little bit. It will take a little bit longer in real time. So we confirm it. And we'll go ahead and log out again. We'll close out the tab, give it probably about maybe a minute, we'll log back in. In this case we've accelerated it again for the video, so but we'll log back in here. You'll see that the IP is auto-populating. Refresh it, now in this case it lost it, but we'll go ahead and re-enter it real quick. Here we go, we'll log back in, admin, admin. This should be the final time that we have to do this. Go to configuration. Go down to update. And we'll check our release, just to make sure that everything looks like it updated. Now we're going to select Ethernet and we're going to change the camera from being a static IP to having DHCP which will be dynamic so when you connect it to your router it'll get an IP address from the subnet of your router that you're connecting it to. So we'll save that and it'll confirm it and then we'll go ahead and log out. Now we're going to go ahead and close out the browser and our files and we'll delete that update file so we no longer need it. We're going to go to our network preferences and we'll change that uh, Ethernet uh, settings back to D dynamic. We'll apply it and that's it. Thank you for watching.